All right, guys, just wanted to make a quick uh, wrap-up video of 2020. Uh, you, what a crazy year. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it. it was, honestly, it was a great year for me. I had an amazing year. I had one of the best years of my life. So I am sorry to anybody who lost their job because uh, the government shut them down or uh, anybody who lost a loved one because of COVID or any of that other stuff. But uh, on a personal note, uh, I just had an amazing year. Uh, a lot of travel, a uh, good year with the kids. I mean, the school, them not getting to school kind of sucks, but uh, otherwise it's been really good. But uh, back to Mini Mates, I just wanted to go over my year uh, with Mini Mates. Uh, I opened up the video with the Instagram top nine, and there was a lot of good stuff in there. I really uh, enjoyed, you know, it's, it's one of the few years where uh, I really like all the... Uh, you know, a top nine. I think they kind of deserve to be there. Sometimes I'll get these top nine where I just, I'm not into a couple of them that, you know, the pictures that everybody else absolutely loved. And I like them, but uh, they're just not my top nine. You know, first we had that Logan one, which that's not, kind of not fair that that one got uh, the number one. Because I did pay, I wanted to see what it was like to have a sponsored picture on Instagram. And just toss 30 bucks, uh, advertise it for a week, and see what exactly that does for um, my page and what it did. And it almost reached a thousand, uh, and I did gain 100 followers out of, out of spending that 30 bucks. But it was just kind of an experiment, and that picture was kind of a personal one. Uh, if you read the context of it on the IG, it just talks about how he's my favorite hero, always has been. But, you know, just to talk about a few of the other ones, there's uh, the Spidey Shield. Um, you know, the Spider-Man takes down Hydra and shield captures them. Definitely worth, uh, definitely the, the number two, definitely worth a number two slot, uh, as one of my best pictures that you guys liked. Uh, that is a pretty amazing picture. It's very rich. There's a lot going on in it. Uh, the next one was Kree, that Kree set up, uh, with Supreme Intelligence. That also was absolutely amazing picture. I, I, it's one of my favorites I've ever done. Uh, that was fantastic. Um, the next one was, uh, the Sentinels, also one of my favorite pictures of all time. It just had a very Pink Floyd look to it. Um, you know, just kind of almost menacing just for a, for a machine operating, uh, manufacturing setup that that's those super Sentinels with the uh, master mold. That was just a, just a cool picture. Uh, Thor versus the Avengers. That was really good too. Um, just really cool setup for those guys. Uh, Colossus, definitely if one of them, I, I wasn't all that wild on making the top nine, that was one of them, but it's X-Men, X-Men, X-Men and Spider-Man always do good, um, and I, it was a great picture, but, uh, there's a lot more that deserved, uh, to beat that one out, um, there's the Super Scroll creation with the Fantastic Four in the background, also a fantastic picture, pun intended, uh, turned out really good, and then Magneto with, uh, all the... Uh, with the headstone and AOA also that that almost made my personal top five uh, and I think I didn't it didn't make it um it, I had to cut something and that was it and then the next one <laughs> I shouldn't have I, I, normally I erase I erase uh anything that's not my art uh, as soon as it comes out so like the fantastic four announcement picture that uh did really well which any time a mini mate announcement happens, it does really well. But once those once those mini mates are in my hands, I'll go back and erase that picture. I just I don't like putting stuff that's not my artwork on my page, but I also like to get get that out for people to see. And I don't like to take it down until we actually have the mini mates in case something happens to where uh, you know mini mates end or that wave just doesn't get made. I, I, it's always nice to have that uh, somewhere. I'll I'll close this video with my personal top nine. <laughs> Uh, but for now, uh, I'm going to talk about a few other things. Um, we only got three waves of Marvel Mini Mates, uh, not including a couple um, animated wave, uh, animated sets that I didn't get. There's like a uh, Ghost and Iron Man, and I can't remember what the other two are right now. Uh, Mini Mate sets that came out. I haven't found them. I'm not all excited about them. It's a uh, Miles Morales 
and uh, Prowler set, and they don't really look all that great. I, I want the hands from Miles, the web shooting hands that Miles has. But other than that, those those two sets, uh, I'm not really all that wild out. If I don't get them, I don't really care that much. But we did get three other sets, um, only two comic waves. We got the Cosmic uh, Guardians of the Galaxy set, which I really liked. I like when we get obscure characters, and we definitely don't have that many... A cosmic mini mates in the first place uh so it was nice to add to that um you know set is finally nice to get a guardians of the galaxy comic version versus always having the animated or movie version is all i always had to use for stand-ins and actually yeah i guess we only got one wave of comics now that i'm looking at my list because the other one was black widow mini mates uh, and they were great they're they're really nice mini mates especially guardian red guardian but uh yeah we only got one wave of Marvel mini mates this year. It's sad. Uh, and then, of course, the big surprise gamer mates. Those were great. Uh, the pictures that I produced from those uh, were, was a really good run. But uh, yeah, not a lot of new mini mates. I'm pretty sure that maybe some of those got pushed back this year because of COVID. But uh, just really sad that, that we only got one comic version this year. A few other things to talk about. Um, you know, on a personal level, I did a lot of, uh, of fun pictures this year. Um, probably the most notably is my Army Builders uh, run. You know, I, I busted out a lot of Army Builders, did a lot of cool pictures with them. Some of my best work, some of my favorite stuff. Uh, but otherwise, we had a few storylines we had recently. We've seen the MCU. Uh, Spider-Man, that Daredevil run, uh, was kind of nice to get uh, out there. Um, the Mind of Wolverine actually happened about a year ago. That was a really good one. I'm surprised. You know, I, I, I always do top nine and I always want to mention more, but um, the Mind of Wolverine was a lot of fun to do, especially being a huge Wolverine fan. Um, but, uh, and then I would say the highlight of the year uh, was put on by a guy named Don Brosis. He does, he's a huge Mini Maid fan. Um, he had us, uh, he, he started March of Mini Maids. And it was uh, 31 days of mini mates, and I hit all 31 days. Some of my favorite stuff, because just the diversity of it. There's you know any, everything from Silence of the Lambs to a personal picture, um, and just some really good, just some really great, uh, you know, creative stuff. A lot of the time, I sit in my lab and I try to think up what am I going to do, and it, it, that just made it so much easier when he's just like this. This day is a classic movie or whatever all the themes were, but it was great that he put it on. And there was a lot of participation in the, uh, you know, in March of Mini Mates itself. There's a lot of people that, that got involved. So that was just great uh, to have that this year, especially that was when COVID kicked off. So, and all the, you know, horribleness of, of the beginning of the year, it was nice to have that one thing that uh, was really great as a Mini Mate fan. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this year. Um, I'll just go over my quick top nine, and I'll, I'll let those pictures run this video out. But uh, uh, one of them, my top picture of the year, was probably my um, 70s TV-verse, Marvel TV-verse picture. I, I, it didn't really resonate, I don't think, with a lot of other people like it did with me, but... Uh, you know, Thor flying through a cityscape with Spider-Man, and you can see Bruce Banner, you know, hulking out, starting to hulk out in the background, and you can see that Daredevil up up on that roof. Uh, it, just, it was just a fun little picture that was, you know, kind of blew up into something else. It was very, very rich, very, uh, it felt like its own city. Um, the Spider-Man shield made it into my top nine, and that too made the IG top nine. Uh, that was just a, that again, I, I produced a lot of amazing stuff out of that uh, Army Builders run. And the Spider-Man shield was one of my top nine. The Sentinel, again, that Sentinel is just so creepy. Uh, you know, it looks like a Pink Floyd album, but also looks very dark and kind of scary. Uh, the Kree one is also, like I said, a top picture. That was um, one of my favorites. Uh, and then there's there's a Jubilee picture with her coming out of the out of her house. Uh, with a sentinel in the background that's very reminiscent of the 90s uh, animated show. That was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, and just owning that house, I think it's the first picture I took with that house. It's a play school 
uh, little people when, when I was a kid is when it came out uh, probably about four, 40 years ago, Jesus. Uh, and then Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, the one where he's looking at his watch in front of the lava, uh, kind of based off the second level of the original video game. Also fun. And then um, to top it off, two Joker pictures. And one was straight out of, um, yeah, one was straight out of, uh, just kind of a homage to the, the movie itself, Joker movie, where he's standing in a car and there's crowd, there's a crowd of, uh, Jokers all around him. That was just a fun picture. You know, just, it was, it was great. Um, and then the last picture would be, uh, there's a, a picture of Joker being taken out of an ambulance with, with Batman in the background. Uh, and that was actually a remake of a picture I did when I first started out five years ago. And basically what I had was Joker in a straight jacket with surrounded by police in armored gear with a white background. I owned zero accessories at the time, zero background, zero, like just nothing. Uh, and it was, and when I took that picture, I thought, well, as soon as I get a, some kind of a loony bin or ambulance or some kind of armored vehicle, I'm going to redo this picture with Jim Gordon. And I didn't even have a Jim Gordon, um, you know, custom mini made at the time. So uh, that was just, that was great that uh, I was very happy with finally getting the chance five years later of redoing that. Uh, and then just, you know, looking forward to the future. Um, I will be doing probably the next couple of weeks a five-year anniversary picture uh, featuring Spider-Man and, and going over some of my original pictures I did five years ago and basically giving him the George Lucas treatment now that, uh, now that I actually have... Um, you know some talent and know what I'm doing because you know I get it I hear from a lot of people um you know that God I could never be this good or whatever and it's like well I was really terrible when I first started out so there's no reason why you can't be can't get where I'm at uh I, I did invest a lot of money in accessories buildings a lot of other stuff but uh was not very good when I started out with this so you know, that's what that video is going to be all about, uh, and remaking a Spider-Man run that I did five years ago. But, uh, otherwise, really looking forward to 2021. Uh, it's going to be an amazing year. Uh, I'm going to do some traveling. We'll take some mini-made pictures, uh, and just keep rocking at life and conquering everything that I can, uh, and that's uh, just how it's going to go. So, anyways, thank you guys for all the views and comments and likes and everything else in 2020. Uh, here's to another year, and we'll see you guys over the next year. Bye now.